Hello everybody, just uh, as a title of my video, I'm going to be replacing the water pressure tank on my RO system. Well, let me just show you. Uh, the bottom is rusted and I think there were some uh, moist. I have already emptied the tank, it's empty, it doesn't have any water. And uh, I just replace all the filters in the RO. So what is next is just replace the tank. I just bought one. Let me show it to you. As you can see all the way over there in the back, uh, the shutoff valve is off, so there's no water coming into the system. Well, this is the tank. It is four gallons, uh, reverse osmosis tank. It cost me $52.99. I went to Home Depot to Lowe's, they didn't have it, so I ended up uh, looking somewhere else and there was this special uh, RV supply store. And the other option was to order through Amazon and I, I decided not to because it was going to take like a week or two. Alright, let's open it up and let's see how it works. And according to what I know, this thing should be already pressurized. Five to seven PSI. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking this out and I'm gonna be installing, removing this from here and installing it on the other one. I just felt it. It is a, a little bit heavy, so I think it still has water. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove the hose, the pipe. I'm just going to close the valve, and um, so I'm going to remove the hose, and uh, I'm going to take it outside to fully empty it, and then I'm going to remove the shutoff valve. As easy as that, I just push this, I just push this back and then pull it. it. It is supposed to have like a safety pin right here, which this one doesn't have, but when I install this one, I'm gonna install it. I have one, I got a spare one. Well guys, I just, I just tested it. It doesn't have any pressure, so. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna just uh, go uh, clock counterclockwise to undo. And I uh, hope everything goes fine and no incidents and I hope not to break it. Since this is a plastic bulb, what I did, I, I used my hands and it's working fine. There you go. Water. Alright, it doesn't seem like it needs anything else. Let's go and start it in the new one. Okay, we're going to be using a little bit, little bit of Teflon over here. And this is plastic, so we're going to protect that and add to it if I can get it right so here it is now let's put it in and you gotta be really careful here, not overdo it because you might break this. And this is like a $10 piece. Okay, I just reached my limit with my hand and I think that's it. And that's it, now put it in there.
Okay, it's good to go. I just put the base and I'm gonna just clean a little bit there and I'm gonna put it in there and and then this is how you replace your uh, RO water pressure tank. Thank you for watching. Until next time.